Chapter 41 Daoist Priest Qingxu's Wish You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 41 Chapter 15 Daoist Priest Qingxu's Wish Daoist Priest Dao Ming snorted, bid farewell to Yi Sheng, and went to guard the door. Yi Sheng asked in puzzlement, Master, why did you let second senior brother guard the door? Daoist Priest Qingxu did not explain, and said, You don't need to care about his matters. Now come in with me, I want to do a spot check. Yi Xing smiled confidently and followed Daoist Priest Qingxu into the Daoist room. Priest Qingxu sat down and immediately began to ask questions. He started from the 80.1st volume of the Tao of Alchemy, but Yi Xing had no problem memorizing all of it. He even included his own explanation, so he didn't memorize it by rote. Priest Qingxu's expression changed. He continued to do random tests. From the pharmacology, Yi Xing still answered without hesitation. The final herbal identification was 365 volumes. Not only did it have a lot of words, but it also contained pictures. Yi Xing didn't miss a single one. Priest Qingxu fell silent. Yi Xing sat obediently and looked at Priest Qingxu with a confident smile on his face. You really only used three days. Priest Qingxu still could not believe it. This was too shocking. He had seen many geniuses, but there had never been anyone who could memorize all of these in three days. Yi Xing did not speak. He only nodded lightly. He was young, confident, and full of vigor. Ha ha ha, the heavens really blessed me, Qing Su. Suddenly, Priest Qing Su laughed loudly with an excited expression. Master, why are you laughing? Yi Sheng asked in puzzlement. Yi Sheng, I am a disciple of Mount Longhu. I have been praised as a rare genius on Mount Longhu, but do you know why I am teaching here? Priest Qing Su looked at Yi Sheng and asked. I heard that it's because of a disagreement with the current sect master of Mount Longhu, Yi Sheng replied. Yes, a disagreement. He believes that Mount Longhu should teach its disciples to continue the glory of the seniors, but I don't think so. I believe that there should be no discrimination in teaching. No matter who it is, they all have their own shining points. Some people have extraordinary talent and are destined to have limitless futures from birth. Take your second senior brother for example. Even I am envious of his talent. If he were to be on Mount Longhu, he would be the next sect master, Priest Qingxu said. Yi Xing said in surprise, is second senior brother's talent so high? High, so high that you can't believe it. He is blessed by the heavens, but after all, it is rare. Most people in this world are like your eldest senior brother, mediocre and mediocre. Their talent is neither outstanding nor inferior, and they are very mediocre. However, such a person is worth sculpting, because when you teach a genius, more than half of his success is due to his talent. However, when you teach a mediocre talent, carefully sculpt them and sculpt them into the most beautiful white jade in the world, it is in line with the mission of Mount Longhu to teach the world. Priest Qingxu was very emotional. Yi Xing nodded silently. There were many mediocre people in this world. They struggled in a floating world and lived their lives in mediocrity. Your second senior brother is a genius in cultivation, and you are a genius in alchemy. You have memorized so many books in three days. From today onwards, I will wholeheartedly teach you to become a genius. I hope that you can refine innate medicinal pills within two years, Priest Qingxu said to Yi Sheng, why must it take two years? Yi Sheng asked, puzzled. Daoist priest Qing Su pondered for a moment and said, because two years later, it will be the day of the heavenly tribulation for my master, the previous sect master of Mount Longhu, Tu Shan. When I left Mount Longhu, I said that I would definitely nurture a person who can suppress the entire generation of Mount Longhu. Your eldest senior brother is a fool, and his talent is simply unable to enter the ranks of the disciples of Mount Longhu. However, I will let him suppress the disciples of Mount Longhu. Your second senior brother is a genius. Although he is a little young, he can suppress the next generation of sect master of Mount Longhu. 
As for you, you will need to suppress the alchemists of the younger generation of Mount Longhu. Yi Xing's blood boiled when he heard this. This Daoist master Qing Su had great ambitions. He taught three disciples and suppressed the elites of the younger generation of Mount Longhu. Master, I'm only refining pills. Is two years enough time? Yi Xing asked suspiciously. Mount Longhu's pill refining disciples were definitely nurtured from a young age. Under the influence of his own eyes and ears, how could Yi Xing catch up? Priest Qingxu laughed out loud. You think too highly of Mount Longhu's teaching methods. Just the books I gave you to the disciples of Mount Longhu will be enough for them to read for a year, while you only spent three days. So two years later, you will definitely be able to do it. I believe in you. Yi Xing's spirit jolted, and he said, Since Master believes in me, then I'll give it a try. Although Yi Xing said it modestly, the determination in his eyes that was eager to give it a try was still seen by Priest Qingxu, satisfied, he said, There's no need to worry. Just how can those pedantic people on Mount Longhu compare to the way I teach my disciples? I want to teach three disciples to slap their faces and let them know that if Mount Longhu doesn't reform, it will gradually decline. Yes, disciple will definitely suppress the current generation of pill refiners on Mount Longhu, Yi Sheng said resolutely and decisively. Good, remember this for me. This is the pill refining method and all sorts of pill formulas. In the future, you will come here every morning to refine pills and have free time in the afternoon. Daoist Qingxu extended his hand and pointed at Yi Xing's glabella, a huge stream of memories was transmitted in, causing Yi Xing's spiritual sea to tremble. Rumble. As if the world had been turned upside down, countless pill refining techniques, pill formulas, and huge amounts of memories appeared in Yi Xing's spiritual sea. Yi Xing gritted his teeth, his brows furrowed, and blood flowed out of his eyes. Daoist Qingxu watched nervously. Once Yi Sheng couldn't take it anymore, he would stop. However, it was very strange. At first, Yi Sheng felt an intense pain that was difficult to endure. However, when he persisted, the pain disappeared on its own, followed by a loud bang. Boom! Yi Sheng's sea of consciousness was actually opened by this inheritance. He had broken through from the first sky of soul nurturing to the second sky of soul nurturing. When priest Qingxu saw this scene, he was completely relieved. He immediately transferred all the alchemy Tao inheritance to Yi Xing. Fifteen minutes later, Yi Xing slept on the ground. Priest Qingxu covered Yi Xing with a blanket and left the Daoist room. The monastery was located in the middle of the sea of clouds. Priest Qingxu had his hands behind his back. His gaze was firm as he said, two years later, I will definitely make the people of Mount Longhu look at me in a new light. Master, you chose him wrongly. Mount Longhu needs to be reformed. When Yi Xing woke up, it was already evening. He held his head and felt a slight numbness. Once he closed his eyes, he was filled with countless knowledge of alchemy. Where's Master? Yi Xing frowned and left the monastery room. He did not find anyone. When he arrived at the monastery's entrance, he saw Second Senior Brother Dao Ming guarding the gate. Second Senior Brother, where's Master? Yi Xing asked. Dao Ming thought for a moment and said, If he's not on the mountain, he must have gone to visit Eldest Senior Brother. Yi Xing asked, Isn't Eldest Senior Brother in Jixia Academy? No. Eldest senior brother's talent doesn't allow him to go to Jixia Academy. He signs up every year, but is selected every year. Dao Ming shook his head and said. Yi Xing raised his eyebrows. This talent, which even Jixia Academy couldn't enter, was really an ordinary person among ordinary people. When will master come back? Yi Xing asked. Tomorrow morning, you go back first. Come back tomorrow. Dao Ming waved his small hand and said, dot, dot, Then junior brother will take his leave. Yi Xing bowed and left. Chapter 42 Breaking through to the fourth heaven, you are listening at novel full.audio. Chapter 42, Chapter 16 
Breaking through to the fourth heaven Yi Sheng returned to his room, but he did not see Beauty Zhou. She had most likely gone to cultivate. Beauty Zhou was not with everyone, and even though he was beautiful, he was still a boy. In Great Qin's kingdom, there were already people who had lost an arm, and some of the elders of great families liked to raise beautiful boys, if Beauty Zhou had not been a quasi-dot-saint, he would not have been so relaxed. In fact, if a boy was too beautiful, he would be even more dangerous than a girl. In the room, Yi Xing closed his eyes and looked through countless information about alchemy in his consciousness. 30.6 Hands of Alchemy This was an alchemy technique that had been passed down from generation to generation, and it was best to control the composition and temperature of the medicinal pill. Yi Xing memorized all 30.6 techniques and passed them down to earth. During this period of time, Yi Sheng continued to pass down various cultivation techniques and pill refining techniques. The people on Earth were already used to it. During this period of time, Earth had already passed through the initial period of discomfort and started the great era of national cultivation, which made Yi Sheng quite satisfied. Although it was just the beginning and most of them had yet to enter the rudiments, 1% of them had broken through to the first sky of the postnatal realm there were fewer people at the second sky, more than 300 people, 50 people at the third sky, and not a single person at the fourth sky. Yi Xing had not cultivated for long, so it was very rare for the people on earth to be able to keep up with the progress. After all the information about alchemy was passed down, there were more people who were interested, but there were very few people who really specialized in it. This was because focusing on alchemy would definitely have an impact on one's cultivation. Everyone on earth was working hard to become stronger. Everyone wanted to break through to the legendary Xientian realm as soon as possible. Alchemy was usually more interesting to people from Taoism. There were only a few thousand people who truly focused on alchemy. Although there were quite a few thousand people, compared to the total of 1.4 billion people, it was very small. Yi Sheng observed these people who were refining pills. Most of them were studying books. Out of the thousands of people, only a dozen or so had started refining pills. These dozen or so people were the focus of Yi Sheng's attention. When they were refining pills, he watched coldly from the side and noted down the mistakes he had made, so as to prevent himself from making mistakes again. Just like that, in the middle of the night, only three of the dozen or so people had successfully refined the most basic pill, the qi condensation pill. After taking it, one could speed up their cultivation and absorb three to four times the spiritual energy of heaven and earth as usual. Yi Xing didn't sleep late at night, but he was full of energy. He had gained a lot from watching these people refine pills. He had memorized all the mistakes and successes in his heart, allowing him to have a sense of propriety. Yi Xing practiced martial arts in the wee hours of the morning. After thinking for a moment, he took out a pot of wine that Bai Yutian had given him earlier, the white fruit wine. A hundred types of spirit fruits were refined, and they contained a tremendous amount of energy. Yi Xing had drunk it once before, and there was still quite a bit left. He was already at the peak of Ho Tian Realm Third Heaven, and the reason he took it out this time was to break through to Ho Tian Realm Fourth Heaven. In the postnatal realm, there were also several barriers. The third heaven to the fourth heaven was a barrier, the sixth heaven to the seventh heaven was a barrier, and the ninth heaven to the tenth heaven was a barrier. This was also why Yi Sheng, with the support of his strength, could defeat Yi Qing and Li Ying, the grandson of the Marquis of Zhenhai, Li Su, but could not defeat Yi Han. This was because Yi Han had broken through to the seventh heaven, and Yi Qing and Li Ying were both at the sixth heaven of the postnatal realm. After a mouthful of white fruit wine, powerful spiritual energy surged out, and Yi Xing immediately began to practice his fist techniques. Rolling stone fist technique, gale steps, and fallen leaf sword technique. These three most basic cultivation techniques, in Yi Xing's hands, blossomed with powerful might. As he gradually cultivated them, the three cultivation techniques had already reached the level of great success, and he was only one step away from completing them. Thus, Yi Xing did not abandon these three cultivation techniques, and instead continued to keep them. 
After practicing the three cultivation techniques once, Yi Sheng's entire body began to heat up. His pores opened up, and he breathed in and out spiritual energy like a glowing body. Samsara Seal Yi Sheng did not give up on this cultivation technique from the beginning to the end. He had been quietly condensing it. This was the supreme cultivation technique of his mother's samsara sect. It was rarely seen in the world. Even though he had obtained many cultivation techniques from the library of Ji Xia Academy, even though it had been passed down to earth, it was still inferior to the samsara seal. Once he condensed the nine great samsara seals, it was equivalent to having nine extra lives. He would be able to construct the samsara bridge and cross the boundary between life and death. Yi Sheng was now only a hair's breadth away from condensing the first samsara seal. Tonight, he would completely succeed. Gulp. 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 Yi Sheng drank all of the white fruit wine. His entire body turned red and he was on the verge of collapse. He was intoxicated, but just like that, under the impact of the enormous spiritual energy. Bang! Yi Sheng's dantian shook, and the reincarnation seal was successfully formed. An ancient seal hung high above his dantian, emitting power, and it allowed Yi Sheng's cultivation to rise to the fourth sky of the Hotian realm. After breaking through to the fourth sky, Yi Sheng immediately fell to the ground. The alcohol strength of the white fruit wine was very strong, and Yi Sheng drank all of it. Even if he didn't get drunk at the first moment, he could still hold his liquor. In the second half of the night, Beauty Zhou came back. Under the moonlight, she saw Yi Sheng sleeping on the ground. She immediately frowned and said with disdain, The smell of alcohol on this body stinks. She directly avoided Yi Sheng and returned to the room. After washing up and changing into clean clothes, she looked at Yi Sheng. Sigh, I'm really a good person. Beauty Zhou sighed and walked out, holding her breath. She helped Yi Sheng up and threw him into the bathtub. After a simple cleaning, she took off her clothes and threw them on her bed. After Beauty Zhou finished doing all this, she looked at the mess on the ground with disgust. She sighed and went to Yi Sheng's room to rest. The next day, Yi Sheng opened his eyes and smelled a very fresh fragrance. It was like the fragrance of flowers blooming in early spring. What is this thing that smells so good? Yi Sheng focused his eyes and saw that he was actually on Beauty Zhou's bed. The fragrance was also coming from the pillow and blanket. This guy says that he hates femininity, but he's still very honest in the dark. Yi Sheng sneered. He grabbed the blanket and took a sniff. The fragrance dispersed the tiredness of the drunkard and his spirit was shaken. What did you say just now? A gloomy voice sounded at the door. Yi Sheng's face stiffened. He turned his head and saw Beauty Zhou looking at him expressionlessly and coldly. Well, your blanket smells good. It's good. I like it, Yi Sheng said with an apologetic smile. Get lost. Beauty Zhou said coldly. Yi Sheng immediately got up and walked to the door with a smile. Beauty Zhou immediately moved aside and looked at Yi Sheng with disgust. You crossed the line last night and ran into my room. You took my bed. Do you know what I said back then? Yi Sheng was puzzled and softly said, Did I cross the line? Beauty Zhou's expression did not change. She said, Of course. Do you think I would let a stinky man like you into my room? I'm sorry. It was my fault this time. I shouldn't have crossed the line, Yi Sheng quickly apologized. Get lost. If you cross the line next time, don't blame me for not being polite, Beauty Zhou crossed her arms over her chest and coldly said. Yi Sheng left with an apologetic smile. When he saw the deep lines, he shook his head helplessly and said, Women are so troublesome. Clang. Beauty Zhou threw out a flying sword and stabbed it in front of Yi Sheng. It made a clanging sound and was extremely cold. Yi Sheng tactfully shut his mouth, changed his clothes, and went straight to the monastery. Chapter 43 
Qi Condensation Pills You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 43 Chapter 17 Qi Condensation Pills For Three Days in a Row, Yi Sheng Was Refining Pills in the Monastery from the start of identifying the medicinal ingredients, to matching the medicinal principles, to the start of refining pills, the skills that an ordinary alchemist needed half a year to master were completed in three days by Yi Sheng. Three days later, Yi Sheng's first batch of pills was produced. Qi Condensation Pills These were very ordinary pills. As long as the system learned how to refine pills, even the dumbest person would be able to refine them with effort. The only difference was that they were good or bad. Yi Sheng refined a batch of qi condensation pills in three days. Under the long satisfied expression of the clear void Taoist, he took it out. It's not bad for the pill to reach the seventh grade, the clear void Taoist said in satisfaction. What do you mean by the seventh grade? Yi Sheng asked. When pills are refined, those below the fifth grade are considered useless pills and can be consumed. However, there is pill poison. The lower the grade, the heavier the pill poison. Above grade 0.5, the pill poison is refined. The higher the grade, the greater the effect of the pill. And grade 0.10 pills are the highest grade of pills. They are known as the pills refined by grandmasters. Priest Qingxu explained. Yi Sheng looked at the cauldron of pills. There were nine pills. They were round and the size of a thumb. They revealed the color of the green pill. They were very beautiful and emitted a strange fragrance. Anyone who saw them would know that they were good pills. Master, this is my first time refining pills. I'll give you the first one, Yi Sheng said with a smile. Priest Qingxu laughed out loud. Then I'll accept it. I'll keep this pill. Yi Sheng used a jade bottle to pick up the remaining eight pills and bid Priest Qingxu farewell. Yi Sheng had been in the monastery for the past three days. He did not go there either. He calmed his heart and began refining pills. He was living a comfortable life. At the gate of the monastery, second senior brother Dao Ming was sitting on a small pony. His little face was pink, and his hair was combed into a bun. He was holding a Taoist book in his hand, and he was flipping through it with a sad face. Second senior brother, what are you looking at? Yi Xing walked over and asked. Dao Ming sighed and said, This is the homework master gave me. I have memorized 30.6 chapters of the Taoist volume. I have memorized 30.5 chapters, but I can't memorize the last one no matter how hard I try. 30.6 Chapters of the Tao Scrolls What's this? Yi Xing asked in puzzlement. This is the basic Tao of Taoism, but you don't need to memorize it. You're a pill refiner, and I'm a cultivator. We're not on the same side. Tao Ming shook his head and said. Second senior brother, this is the first batch of pills I refined. The first one was given to master, and the second one is for you. Yi Sheng handed over the qi condensation pills. Dao Ming's eyes lit up. He took the pill and threw it into his mouth. He chewed it up with a crunching sound, as if he was eating candy. Junior brother, the taste is not bad. Do you have any more? Dao Ming smacked his lips and asked. Yi Sheng smiled lightly and said, no more. Even if I did, I wouldn't dare to give it to second senior brother. It hurts my heart to see him swallow it all at once. Isn't the pill refined just for people to eat? Dao Ming was very open dot minded and did not pester him. Junior brother, please excuse me. Yi Sheng was very polite and did not neglect Dao Ming just because he was young. Go, go. Dao Ming waved his hand and continued to fight with the book. Yi Sheng left the monastery and returned to his residence immediately. However, when he was near the door, he stopped. A few days ago, I seemed to have made Beauty Zhou unhappy. Last time, he even ordered for me. Yi Xing thought so and walked to Beauty Zhou's door. Stop at the 38th line. 
You are not allowed to cross the line, a cold voice sounded from the room. Yi Sheng heard it and looked down. One of his feet had crossed the 38th line. He thought for a moment, then took a step back and said, I just refined a batch of medicinal pills. The pills have reached the seventh grade. I'll give it to you. Creak. The door opened. Beauty Zhou walked out with a cold expression. She looked at Yi Sheng and said, You successfully refined it so quickly. Yes, I'm a genius. Yi Sheng nodded. Beauty Zhou wanted to laugh at him, but she saw Yi Sheng take out a jade bottle. Inside it was an ink dot green colored medicinal pill. It was very beautiful. She forcefully swallowed it and laughed, looking at Yi Sheng silently. That, I'm sorry for a few days ago. This is my apology, my first batch of medicinal pills. Yi Sheng smiled apologetically. Beauty Zhou lowered her head and asked casually, the first batch of medicinal pills, you're giving it to me just like that. Yeah, that's enough sincerity, right? Can you forgive me? Yi Sheng looked at Beauty Zhou expectantly. I guess I'll have to put up with it. But doesn't a single medicinal pill seem very monotonous? Beauty Zhou stared at Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng was speechless. He took out a jade bottle and made a pair. That's more like it. Beauty Zhou smiled. She walked down, put away the two pills, and turned around to enter the room. Yi Sheng looked at her back and asked, Then have you forgiven me? No, Beauty Zhou's voice made Yi Sheng speechless. Looking at the lines on the ground, Yi Sheng thought for a while, but he still didn't have the courage to cross them. Beauty Zhou might get angry again and turn around to return to his room. Taking out the qi condensation pills, Yi Sheng began to cultivate his heart. Of the nine pills, he gave one to his master, one to his second senior brother, two to Beauty Zhou, and five to Yi Sheng. Of the five pills, Yi Sheng used them all to cultivate and raise his Daoist magic realm. Previously, he had broken through from the first sky of soul nurturing to the second sky of soul nurturing. Over the past few days, he had accumulated a lot of insights in pill concocting. His use of his divine soul and his deeper understanding of Daoist magic had all improved by leaps and bounds. Yi Sheng held a medicinal pill in his mouth. With a flick of his divine soul, he visualized the sun and moon, heaven and earth, gods and devils, hell, volcanoes. Each time he visualized, his divine soul would become even stronger. Step by step, he would slowly climb up the steps. And every time his divine soul was exhausted, the qi condensation pill would nourish his divine soul, allowing Yi Sheng to visualize without a break. NSU in the course of a day, Yi Sheng had consumed five medicinal pills, making his divine soul as firm as a stubborn rock. With a thought, he made a decision. Huff. A gust of wind rose from the ground and rapidly expanded, gathering in the room. In the blink of an eye, it had grown to the size of a person. And as Yi Sheng's soul rotated, the power of the huff could really uproot these few houses. Yi Sheng immediately stopped huffing and opened his eyes in satisfaction. Third Sky of Soul Nurturing BDNVL.M5 Qi condensation pills allowed Yi Sheng's soul to break through a realm. It was very cost-effective. As expected, I made the right choice to refine pills. As my alchemy skills improve, my cultivation speed will also increase. I'm not like others who waste their cultivation just to refine pills. Yi Sheng clenched his fist in excitement. Martial cultivation, Ho Tian Fourth Sky. Soul Cultivation, Third Sky of Soul Nurturing Yi Sheng's cultivation had been going on for less than a month. This kind of progress was like riding a rocket. After cultivating for a day, Yi Sheng's stomach was empty, and he felt a sense of hunger. Let's go eat. Yi Sheng got up and went out. However, just as he went out, he saw Beauty Zhou sitting in front of the table. There was beef and mutton on the table, but it didn't move at all. Beauty Zhou was looking at the pills given by Yi Sheng and was deep in thought. 
When Yi Xing went out, the commotion shocked Beauty Zhou. He quickly put away the pills and said with an indifferent expression, Do you want to eat the dishes I just ordered? Chapter 44 Killing a Person You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 44 Chapter 18 Killing a Person Yi Xing happened to be hungry, so he didn't stand on ceremony. He grabbed a chicken drumstick and gobbled it down. Beauty Zhou picked up the wine glass and poured Yi Xing a glass of wine. Her expression was calm. Yi Xing ate the chicken drumstick, picked up the wine glass, and smiled at Beauty Zhou. He was full of the feeling of a masculine youth and said, Have a drink. Beauty Zhou didn't say anything. She picked up the wine glass and downed it in one gulp. Yi Xing also drank it in one gulp and continued eating to fill his stomach. After a long while, when Yi Sheng was half full, the dishes on the table were sparse. Yi Sheng stopped his chopsticks and looked at Beauty Zhou, he asked curiously, Why are you so silent today? I've already apologized to you and given you the pills. Don't be angry. Come and smile. Your smile is very beautiful. Beauty Zhou looked up at Yi Sheng and said, You said before that you would help me kill someone, right? Yi Sheng was stunned. He wiped his hands and said, Tell me. When? Beauty Zhou asked curiously, You're not going to ask who to kill. I'm not going to ask. You won't send me to my death anyway, right? Yi Sheng said with a smile. Beauty Zhou smiled. She was very beautiful. It was really impossible to tell if I was male or female. There is a girl in the maple forest outside Xianyang City tonight. Go and kill her, Beauty Zhou said softly. Okay, Yi Sheng agreed without any hesitation. You don't hesitate to kill a girl. Beauty Zhou asked in surprise. Am I a good person? Yi Sheng asked with a serious expression. Beauty Zhou looked at Yi Sheng and shook her head. I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you today. I'm not a good person, Yi Xing said seriously. So you're a bad person. Beauty Zhou frowned. I'm not a bad person either. Yi Xing shook his head. How can there be so many good people and bad people in this world? This world is not black and white. This world is chaotic. You saved my life previously. I agreed to help you kill people, so I will definitely help you kill people. No matter who it is, be it a girl or a strong person, I will do my best to help you kill them and return the favor of you saving my life. As for the girl that I killed, I'm sorry. I don't care about her feelings. I'm very selfish. Yi Sheng shook his head and said. Beauty Zhou looked at Yi Sheng and suddenly smiled, saying, Very interesting. You're the first person I've met who bluntly said that he was selfish. I was born in the mansion of the number one person in the world, King Yi. As his twelve sons, I didn't enjoy any benefits. Instead, after my mother died, I carefully lived in that cage-like mansion. No one has ever saved me. I relied on my selfishness and caution to survive until today. Yi Xing looked at Beauty Zhou's flawless face and said. For those who have helped me before, I will repay the favor. So you saved my life, and I will help you kill someone. After that, we won't owe each other anything. If you want me to help you kill someone, then save my life first, Yi Xing said with a laugh. I got it. This is the portrait of that girl. She will definitely enter the maple forest tonight. You go and kill her. Beauty Zhou took out a piece of white paper and handed it to Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng took the portrait and looked at it. After a moment of silence, he folded the portrait and said, I am lacking a sword. Beauty Zhou stood up and walked into the room, taking out a long sword. This is a very good sword that someone gave me after I entered Jixia Academy. Take it now. Beauty Zhou handed the long sword to Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng sized up the long sword. It was encrusted with jewelry. The long sword was very delicate. Unlike other swords, it was full of sharpness and dominance. 
Pulling out the longsword, a cold light flashed, and he infused his genuine chi into it. It actually emitted a faint sword light, which could support genuine chi. It was a treasured sword. I'll go and ask for leave from master. Yi Xing stood up and left, heading straight for the monastery. Beauty Zhou looked at Yi Xing's back silently. Her eyelids drooped, but when she saw the table full of bones that Yi Sheng had eaten, she clenched her fists and said hatefully, You want me to clean up again? I won't order for you next time. In the monastery, Yi Sheng didn't meet priest Ching Xu. Second brother said, Master went to look for eldest brother. Yi Sheng nodded and said, Then when can we meet our eldest brother? Second brother Dao Ming said, You want to see eldest brother? Yes, I'm the youngest brother after all. It's only right for me to go and pay my respects, said Yi Sheng. That's right. Let me think about it. I still have half a month to finish guarding the gate. When that time comes, I'll take you to find eldest senior brother. I miss eldest senior brother too, Dao Ming counted carefully with his fingers and said. It's a deal, Yi Sheng said with a smile. It's a deal. Dao Ming nodded. I'll leave first. When Master comes back, tell him that I'm going out of Jixia Academy to deal with some private matters. I'll come back tomorrow, Yi Xing said. I understand. Dao Ming nodded and memorized it in his heart. Yi Xing left the monastery and walked in the spacious Jixia Academy. He saw the surrounding flowers and lush trees. The air was filled with rich spiritual energy. Even a breath of air made one feel happy. Jixia Academy had close to a thousand students and was divided into three grades. Yi Sheng and the others who had just entered were in the first grade. Yi Han had entered last year and could be considered as a second grade. The students Jixia Academy had recruited when it had just been restored were in the third grade. Jixia Academy taught its students for two years. After two years, when they graduated, they would let them leave. Unless they had great potential, or were like Yi Sheng who cowed out to acknowledge him as his teacher, they would be allowed to stay and continue their studies for a year. This was also the origin of the third grade. The first and second grades added up to five to six hundred people, and the third grade could only be considered to have more than a hundred people. Yi Sheng thought as he walked, and very quickly, he left Jixia Academy. He left by boat. This time, Yi Sheng did not hear the so dot called sound, even if he cleared his mind. Yi Sheng was not depressed, and it was impossible for him to do it every time. If he stayed on the boat for a few days, wouldn't he have learned countless cultivation techniques? Yi Sheng knew about the maple forest outside Xianyang City. Last time when he went to pay respects to his mother, he passed by on his way back, but because he was in a hurry, he did not go in. This time, Yi Xing came here. It was a distance away from the official road. People came and went on the official road, but no one would come here. Yi Xing entered and stepped on the maple leaves, creaking. He walked to the center and saw a small pavilion. In the maple forest, there was a small pavilion. The pavilion was covered with fallen leaves. Walking in, it was covered in dust. Yi Xing wiped it with his hand and sat down to wait. It was already close to evening, and there was not much time left until evening. There was still some time. Yi Xing reviewed the killing technique and tried to hit the target with his next attack. The night soon turned dark, especially in the maple forest. It was dark outside, and the starlight and moonlight shone down. It was very clean. A breeze blew, bringing a slight chill. Yi Xing stood up. He saw a figure walking toward the pavilion. Creak, creak, creak. The sound of leaves made Yi Sheng's expression change. The person directly faced Yi Sheng. He was dressed in red and carried a pot of soju. His skin was snow dot white. Even in the dark night, under the weak moonlight, Yi Sheng could see his snow dot white skin and that stunning face. Chapter 45 the daughter of a quasi. Sage, you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 45, Chapter 19, 
the daughter of a quasi-sage she was very beautiful, but Yixing felt awkward seeing her for the first time. The beauty in front of him was like Beauty Zhou herself. She was dressed like a girl, or else Yixing would definitely think that she was Beauty Zhou. You were called here by Beauty Zhou. The girl who was holding the liquor asked. Her voice was clear and melodious, like a lark. You knew that I wanted to kill you. Yi Sheng was quite curious. Yes. Beauty Zhou said that she found an interesting person who could kill me, but I didn't believe it, so I came. The girl walked into the pavilion and put down the liquor. Then she looked at Yi Sheng and glanced around, she looked him up and down. Your cultivation is not high, and you dare to come alone. Yi Sheng frowned. This girl who looked similar to Beauty Zhou only had a cultivation of the fifth heaven of the postnatal realm. Although she was quite good at her age, she was only at the fifth heaven of the postnatal realm. You're an assassin who's only at the fourth heaven of the postnatal realm. Why wouldn't I dare to come here? The girl sneered. You're right. Then go to hell. Yi Xing pulled out his long sword. With a cold flash, he was about to attack. Before I kill you, let's drink a bowl of wine first. I thought that Beauty Zhou would come and specially bring his favorite wine. Now that I'm giving it to you to drink, it's not considered a waste. The young girl spoke and interrupted Yi Xing's attack. Yi Xing frowned and looked at the young girl. With his back facing him, he took down the two bowls that were placed on the lid of the strong wine. After filling them up, he drank a mouthful of it himself. Good liquor. It's a pity that the person I want to kill today is Beauty Zhou. He actually didn't come and sent you here to die, the girl said with a sigh. Yi Xing snorted and said, it's not certain who will kill who. Are you so confident? Drink. In any case, only one of us can live here today. The girl was very forthright and handed the bowl to Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng looked at the liquor and hesitated for a moment. Afraid of being poisoned. The young girl sneered. Yes, Beauty Zhou told me that you are the most vicious person. You told me to be careful. Yi Sheng started to make up nonsense and did not act pretentious. He drank the strong wine in one gulp. Instantly, the bitter taste swept through his mouth and Yi Xing frowned deeply. Ha ha ha, how is it? It's not very strange. This is Beauty Zhou's favorite wine, bitter wine. This pervert likes these things. The young girl laughed loudly as she looked at Yi Xing's embarrassment. You've drunk the wine and said your piece. Go to hell. Yi Xing suddenly raised his long sword and stabbed out. A cold glint flashed. Clang. Yi Xing's long sword pierced through the wine bowl in the girl's hand, but it was blocked by a word when it approached the girl. It was the word scram. Bang. The word scram exploded and sent Yi Xing's long sword flying. Even Yi Xing was sent flying. The old pavilion instantly shattered into pieces and dust flew everywhere. Yi Xing's long sword fell to block this move but he was sent flying. Although he wasn't injured, he was at a disadvantage. Die. The girl was very cold. A finger directly crossed space and aimed at Yi Xing's heart. She wanted to crush Yi Xing's heart with one finger. Heartbreak finger. This was an extremely vicious technique. Once it was used, it would be difficult to save an immortal. Yi Xing also knew the danger. A faint light flashed between his brows as he activated his soul power. Whoosh! A hurricane appeared out of thin air and directly sent the young girl flying, her clothes fluttering in the wind. Dao arts, and it's also an offensive Dao arts. You cultivate both martial arts. Looks like Beauty Zhou's taste in people isn't bad either, the young girl said coldly. With a tap of her toes, her snow-dot-white ankles stepped on the hurricane as she flew at high speed. With a shake of her wrist, a cold ray of light shot out. It was a small silver needle. It was covered in poison, and its front end was black. Clang! Yi Xing's long sword shook, 
forming a sword flower. With a flash of cold light, he knocked away the needle. Samsara seal. Yi Sheng was worried that the longer the night, the more trouble it would bring. After all, this was not far from the official road. Once the commotion became big and the time dragged on, it would not be good to attract people. Therefore, Yi Sheng used his movement technique to chase after the wind. He held the sword in one hand and clapped with the other. He used both his hands at the same time. The samsara seal was condensed in his palm. The halo was restrained and it was not easy to be discovered. The long sword flashed with a cold light. Once it attacked, it would kill. The girl was indeed hit. She did not expect Yi Sheng to be multitasking. This was to guard against the long sword. He wrote a word in the degree to block the long sword. However, Yi Sheng's palm landed squarely on the girl's back. Bang! The girl's body trembled. Her face suddenly turned pale as her blood chi was sucked dry. She let out a miserable cry and fell to the ground silently. Yi Sheng landed on the ground to take a look. The girl's skin was pale. He stretched out his hand and placed it on her wrist. Her pulse was gone. He stretched out his hand and touched the girl's body for a moment. Her heartbeat was also gone. He stretched out his neck and touched her neck with his hand. The flow of blood in her arteries had stopped. She's dead. Yixing let out a long sigh of relief and turned around to leave. However, when he passed by the damaged pavilion, Yi Sheng saw the bitter wine. Surprisingly, the bitter wine was not affected. Since it's something that Beauty Zhou likes to drink, bring it back. Yi Sheng carried the bitter wine and walked out of the maple forest towards Jixia Academy. He casually held the long sword by his waist. Within a quarter of an hour after Yi Sheng left the maple forest, a group of officers and soldiers immediately walked in. They searched very quickly and found the girl's body. The daughter of the quasi dot sage was killed, an officer said with a trembling voice. This matter is not something that we should concern ourselves with. Immediately notify the quasi dot sage and bring the body over, the leading magistrate said in a deep voice. All right. How could the young constable dare to disobey? He immediately covered the young girl with a white cloth, made a stretcher, and carried her away. It took Yixing a long time to return to Jixia Academy. Because at night, Jixia Academy closed its doors, Yixing did not dare to barge in. He waited for the door to open for an hour before someone passed by and opened the door for Yixing when Yixing returned to his room, it was close to midnight. Beauty Zhou was waiting for Yixing under the tree. Here, your favorite bitter wine. I brought it back for you. There's no need to thank me. Yi Sheng waved his hand and said that she brought the bitter wine. Beauty Zhou asked. Of course. Otherwise, how would I know that you like to drink this stuff? Other than bitterness, there's no taste at all, Yi Sheng said unhappily. Don't you think the bitter wine tastes pretty good when it enters your throat? Beauty Zhou smiled and said. Thank you. I don't like it. Yi Sheng refused. Have you seen her? Is she beautiful? Beauty Zhou suddenly asked. She's very similar to you. She's very beautiful, but she's more feminine and more gentle. Although her behavior is more like a man, she's more beautiful than you, Yi Sheng thought carefully and said. Is that so? Beauty Zhou raised her eyebrows. Yes, you look like a woman but you're essentially a man. That young girl is very beautiful. You can't compare to her, Yixing thought carefully and answered seriously, meticulously. Beauty Zhou narrowed her eyes. The corners of her eyes twitched. She turned around and threw down the bitter wine. I don't want to drink anymore. Today's bitter wine doesn't taste right. How I drink it won't affect my mood. Chapter 46 Visit eldest senior brother you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 46 Chapter 20 Visit eldest senior brother early in the morning, 
Yixing went to the monastery and continued to learn pill refinement together with Taoist priest Qingxu. The materials used for his early dot stage pill refinement were all provided by Taoist priest Qingxu. Yixing didn't have to worry about buying medicinal materials. He could concentrate on refining pills. Once he learned the qi condensation pill, he learned the next type of pill. Taoist priest Qingxu taught him happily, and Yixing learned happily. He was immersed in it. Just like that, another three days passed. Yixing learned how to refine another type of pill, the body tempering pill. He also successfully refined one batch, and the pill became a seventh grade pill. This speed made Taoist priest Qingxu extremely satisfied, and he placed even more importance on Yixing. Three days later, Yixing went down the mountain and returned to his own house. He didn't really care that he didn't see Beauty Zhou. In any case, Beauty Zhou often appeared and disappeared mysteriously, and no one knew where he was. Body Tempering Pill After taking it, it could temper the body's strength, increase the density of the muscles, and increase the strength of the tendons and meridians. It was considered a relatively expensive pill. To the current Yi Sheng, body tempering pill was the best pill. The strength of his body was very weak. It was slightly better than that of an ordinary person, but it could not reach the level of strength. Every time he strengthened the strength of earth, Yi Sheng had to be careful. He did not dare to strengthen it too much, or else his tendons and meridians would crack, his body would explode. After taking the body dot tempering pill, Yi Sheng's body would become stronger, and the increase in strength would be even greater. Now that Earth had entered the stage of universal cultivation, there would be more and more experts in the future. Yixing had to strengthen his body. In the long river, Yixing did not move at all, allowing the rapid river water to hit his body. The Jinxi in his body circulated, refining the energy of the pill and transferring it into every inch of his muscles. Yixing's body strengthened every minute and second. When Yixing finished his cultivation this time and came out of the river, all the muscles in his body became more solid. The improvement was still very significant. Brother Yi, is Brother Yi at home? A shout came from outside the door. It was Fang Songlong Yixing said, at home. How come Brother Fang has the time to come and look for me? Creak. Yixing pushed the door open and saw Fang Songlong. He hadn't seen Fang Tsong long for a while and had become thinner, but he was full of vigor. His eyes were full of hope and vitality. Brother Yi, have you seen Beauty Zhou? Fang Tsong long asked. Yi Sheng shook his head and said, I've been in the monastery these few days. What happened to Beauty Zhou? His sister was killed. Now the whole of Xianyang has heard about it, Fang Tsong long said. Yi Sheng's expression changed, and he pretended to be indifferent and asked, What exactly happened? Tell me in detail. The two of them came to the bench under the locust tree and sat down. Fang Tsong Long said, You must be very busy to be under priest Qingxu. You must be studying very hard. It's normal that you don't know. The quasi. Sage Zhou family gave birth to a pair of dragon and phoenix twins which were the beautiful Zhou siblings. The sister of the beautiful Zhou was a famous beauty among the descendants of Xianyang aristocratic families, but she was killed a few days ago and died in the maple forest outside the city. Yixing frowned and said, Zhou Yin, er, left the city without any guards. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's rumored that someone familiar killed her. The quasi. Sage was furious and asked the government to investigate the murderer. I'm here to ask if there's any news about the beautiful Zhou. Fang Tsong Long said. Why do you care so much? Yi Sheng asked curiously. Fang Tsong Long said sadly, I have a crush on this Zhou Yin, er. You have a crush on her? Yi Sheng looked at Fang Tsong Long in surprise. Yes, three years ago, Zhou Yin, er, came out once at a flower festival in Xianyang. That time, she was so beautiful that even the flowers were ashamed. That night, Zhou Yin Er became the number one beauty in Xianyang. 
It was at that time that I took a look at her and thought about her tomb, Fong Tsong Long recalled happily, however, he immediately gritted his teeth and said, don't let me meet that murderer. Otherwise, I will definitely cut him into pieces. How could such a beautiful person do it? Yi Xing lowered his head and didn't want to speak. Brother Yi, you really don't know the whereabouts of beauty Zhou. Fong Tsong Long asked again. Yi Xing shook his head and said, I really don't know. Looking at the dust in front of his door, it should have been a few days since he last came back. Sai, my goddess, why did she leave the world just like that? It's simply heaven's envy of beauties. Fong Tsong Long let out a long sigh and was filled with regret. It seemed that he was really heartbroken. Yi Xing did not know how to comfort him, so he did not say anything. He let Fong Tsong Long vent for a while and then left. Yi Xing was alone in thought. He did not expect that the person that Beauty Zhou asked him to kill was actually his sister. In fact, when he saw the two people's looks, Yi Xing had already suspected. However, without any evidence, it was not easy to make wild guesses. Now that Fang Songlong had told him the truth, Yi Sheng was still very surprised. There were many suspicious points in this matter. If he asked Beauty Zhou about it, he should be able to get some information out of her. However, Yi Sheng felt that it was too troublesome. He wanted to repay Beauty Zhou for saving his life. As long as it was not traced back to him, he would allow the outside world to cause a ruckus, thus, he began to refine pills silently in Ji Xia Academy. Twelve days passed by in the blink of an eye. During these twelve days, Beauty Zhou really did not return. It was as if she had been removed from Ji Xia Academy. The dust in front of the door piled up on the ground. Yi Xing could not stand it and helped him clean up this morning. In these twelve days, Yi Sheng's body strength had increased by at least three times. He ate nine body tempering pills and refined pills for half a day every day. He also learned how to refine five different types of pills. As he entered the rudiments, Yi Sheng learned things even faster than priest Qingxu had thought. Ordinary people needed to spend a month figuring things out, but with Yi Sheng, it took two hours. Although refining pills was tedious, However, Yi Xing dedicated himself to research day and night. He put all his heart and soul into it and made rapid progress. He was already a qualified junior alchemist, which priest Qingxu admitted personally. After cleaning Beauty Zhou's room that day, Yi Xing went straight to the monastery. During his days in Ji Xia Academy, he would go back and forth between these two places. He would not set foot in other areas. Yi Han had tried to find trouble with Yi Sheng several times, however, Yi Sheng had avoided it. If he was not in the monastery, he would have changed the time. This made Yi Han mad with anger, but there was nothing he could do. Everyone in Ji Xia Academy knew that Yi Sheng was under the tutelage of priest Qingxu. He went in and out of the monastery all day long, making the other disciples jealous and eager to replace him. Yi Sheng was already a somewhat famous person in Ji Xia Academy without his knowledge. This fame also spread to King Ye's mansion. Hu Mei and First Lady knew about it, and their faces were gloomy. At the entrance of the monastery, Second Senior Brother Dao Ming was wearing a new Daoist robe. His small body stood straight and his face was solemn. When he saw Yi Sheng coming over, he suddenly broke through his cultivation, he waved his small hand and said, Junior Brother Yi Sheng, I'm here. My days of guarding the gate are over. The one dot year period had completely ended yesterday. Today was the time that Yi Sheng and Second Senior Brother Dao Ming had agreed on. They were going to visit Eldest Senior Brother. Priest Qingxu also knew that he had given Yi Sheng a holiday, so he let Yi Sheng and Dao Ming go down the mountain together. Second Senior Brother, Congratulations, congratulations. Yi Xing came close and laughed loudly. Dao Ming couldn't help but smile. He said, I've finally ended this kind of life. From now on, I can cultivate. But let's go see eldest senior brother first. I miss eldest senior brother. Let's go. 
Yi Xing picked up Dao Ming. His body was as light as a swallow as he ran down the mountain forest. Chapter 47 Sword Forger You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 47 Chapter 21 Sword Forger Yi Xing carried second senior brother and sped off. They left Jixia Academy on a boat and headed straight for Xianyang City. What's eldest senior brother's name? Yi Xing asked on the way. Eldest senior brother is called eldest senior brother, second senior brother said Ming Tianjin and blinked his big eyes. Yi Xing said calmly, You don't know either, right? Dao Ming smiled embarrassedly and said, I asked eldest senior brother before, but he didn't tell me. He just told me that eldest senior brother is eldest senior brother. He asked master, but master didn't answer me. Oh, I see. Then I'll ask for you this time, Yixing said softly. Well, if you ask this time, eldest senior brother will definitely tell you. He has always treated me like a child. Although he dotes on me, it hurts my self-esteem even more. Junior brother, you're still the best, Dao Ming said with a smile. Yixing smiled. In Xianyang City, Yixing held Dao Ming's hand and returned to this place. It had been almost a month since he left Xianyang to study at Jixia Academy. Yi Sheng had grown too much, and he looked completely different from the refugee-like appearance he had before. He could finally take a good look at the scenery of Xianyang after nearly 20 years of peace and prosperity since Qin Tu's succession to the throne, Xianyang was the political center, where millions of people lived. It was a truly prosperous and prosperous time. Dao Ming had been guarding the gate of the monastery for a year. At this moment, he was dazzled by the bustling Xianyang city. All kinds of snacks and snacks were on sale along the street. Their fragrance filled the air, causing Dao Ming to drool. He pulled Yi Sheng and said, Junior brother, second brother is hungry. Yi Sheng bought a few kinds of snacks for Dao Ming to eat on the way. Then he asked, you haven't told me where eldest brother is. Dao Ming was very obedient. With snacks, he could satisfy his craving. He said, Eldest brother is on Chang and Street in the North City. Chang and Street in the North City. Yi Xing raised his eyebrows. This place was not a good place to go. Even though Yi Sheng was trapped in the prince's mansion in the past and was not well dot informed, he had heard people talk about it. Chang and Street in the North City was the gathering place of the lower nine classes, the most chaotic place in Xianyang was filled with gangs and people died every day. It was hard to imagine that there was such a place in a big city like Xianyang. The law did not care at all. In Chang and Street, the people who were as big as fists spoke. That was why the scholars did not go, the people who bought and sold businesses did not go, and the virtuous women did not go. Of course, these were all lies on the surface. Chang and Street had the largest brothels and alleys in the entire Xianyang. There were killer organizations that were widely rumored in Xianyang City, gambling houses that were banned in Xianyang City, and all kinds of prohibited items. With these things, Chang and Street would not be deserted. Yes, eldest brother has a shop over there. Dao Ming nodded. Yi Xing picked up Dao Ming and told him to eat slowly. Then, he rushed to Chang and Street. After entering Chang and Street, Yi Xing could clearly see that someone was sizing him up. He guessed that it was a pickpocket or something. This place was no different from the outside world. There were pedestrians on the street and merchants hawking along the way, if Yi Xing had not accidentally seen some people lying on the ground in the alley and the blood in the air, he would have really thought that there was no problem here. Where is eldest brother? Yi Xing asked Dao Ming. Dao Ming pointed to the front and said, Go in. Eldest brother's shop is very remote and difficult to find. Yi Xing followed Dao Ming's directions and began to search in the wide and huge Chang and street. After turning one intersection after another, Yi Xing saw the real inside story of Chang and street. The people here carried weapons with them and looked very fierce. Each of them was full of blood and qi. It was obvious that their hands were not clean. 
It was unknown whether Dao Ming was small, afraid, or not clear about these unorthodox ways. He was fearless and excitedly showed Yi Xing the way. Yi Xing carried him and walked with a calm expression. Kid, take your younger brother and get out of here. This is not a place where you should be. At this moment, a middle dot aged man squatting by the side of the road said in a deep voice. For a moment, more than ten gazes swept over and stared at Yi Sheng. They were very unfriendly. Yi Sheng said, We are here to look for someone. Who are you looking for? The squatting middle dot aged man stood up and asked. His hair was dry and he did not take care of it carefully. After he stood up, he realized that his leg was a little lame. Dao Ming, who was in Yi Sheng's arms, said, We're looking for a sword forger. The middle dot aged man was stunned, but he immediately frowned and said, You're also looking for a sword forger to forge a treasure sword. It was very obvious that he saw that Yi Sheng was dressed very luxuriously. He thought that Yi Sheng was a young master from an aristocratic family, and thought that he was looking for a sword forger to forge a treasure sword. Yi Sheng did not defend himself. He only asked, Where is the sword forger? Kid, the sword forger is very busy. He is currently forging a treasured sword for me. You are not allowed to disturb him. At this moment, a young man with an arrogant expression stood out. He was originally watching the show from the side, but when he heard that Yi Sheng was here to look for the sword forger, he said with dissatisfaction in his heart, It seems that we don't need your opinion to go and see the sword forger, right? Yi Xing glanced at him and said, Are you looking down on me, dog? The young man was infuriated. He glared at him and immediately took out an axe from his back. He hacked at Yi Xing's head with a ferocious speed. You're courting death. Yi Xing frowned and a halo flashed between his brows. Hufeng. The ancient Tao technique was immediately executed. In front of dog, a hurricane swept him over ten meters away. He was flung out and crashed into the wall. The immense force caused Dog to vomit blood. What was even more outrageous was that, the wind did not dissipate. Instead, it turned into all kinds of sharp arrow-dot-like whirlwinds, drilling into the body of the other party and killing him in an instant. This was a change that occurred only when Yi Xing's control over the wind deepened. You're a cultivator. The crippled middle dot aged man said in shock. He took a few steps back to increase the distance between them. Get out of the way. I want to see the sword forger, Yi Xing said indifferently. The people on this street were killed. The first reaction of the others was to avoid danger. Many of the gazes that were fixed on Yi Xing disappeared. The crippled middle dot aged man did not dare to stop him anymore. He said, the home of the sword forger is in the alley ahead. You can go there directly. Yi Xing carried Dao Ming and walked past these people. He left without looking back. The crippled middle dot aged man looked at Yi Xing's back and suddenly said, Men, put away the corpse of the dog and send it to Brother Nan's forces. Explain everything. Immediately, two people picked up the corpse of the dog and quickly left. The crippled middle dot aged man also staggered away. Soon, the place became empty. Yi Xing came to the front of the swordsmith's shop. It was a very old shop and a stove. The inside was burning. A strong man wearing a thin shirt was wielding a sledgehammer, hammering iron blocks and forging a sword. The man's head was covered in sweat. His thin shirt was soaked through, revealing his muscles. As the sledgehammer fell, it suddenly shook, giving off a very powerful feeling. Eldest senior brother, I'm here to see you. Dao Ming saw this person and cried out in joy. Chapter 48 Duan Mu Yu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 48 Chapter 22 Duan Mu Yu Ding 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 The hammer kept falling, and rhythmic music sounded, but it stopped abruptly after Dao Ming shouted. The brawny man turned around with a pleasantly surprised look on his face, and then laughed loudly. Second junior brother, you can go down the mountain now. 
Dao Ming ran in and hugged the brawny man's arm with a face full of joy. My one dot your period is over. I'll come and see you immediately. The muscular man pinched Dao Ming's chubby cheeks and looked at Yi Sheng. A gentle smile appeared on his face as he asked, Your little junior brother, right? Yi Sheng greets eldest senior brother. Yi Sheng bowed. There's no need to be so polite. You're my junior brother. That means you're my closest relative. You're not allowed to do this in the future. Eldest senior brother pulled Yi Sheng up and said happily. Got it, eldest senior brother. Yi Sheng agreed obediently. All right. Today can be considered the happiest moment of the year for me. I've gained a good junior brother. I'm not going to forge a sword anymore. Let's go drink, eldest senior brother said loudly. He could not hide the joy on his face. Dao Ming pursed his lips and licked his lips. I want to drink the fragrance of rice flowers. Yi Xing raised his eyebrows and said, Can you drink? Master asked me to bring you out. If you go back drunk, I'll be the one punished, Yi Xing said. Don't worry. A thousand cups won't make you drunk, Dao Ming said proudly. Eldest brother smiled and said, Junior brother, do you know why Dao Ming came to find me immediately after he finished guarding the door? Yi Xing looked at Dao Ming suspiciously. Could it be that he's addicted to alcohol? You guessed it right. Every time Dao Ming comes to me, I have to bring him to drink. He used all the money I made in this shop to drink. In the end, Master couldn't stand it anymore and grounded him in the monastery. This is also one of the reasons. Eldest brother pointed at Dao Ming and said. Why are you talking so much? Let's go and drink. Dao Ming pulled eldest brother. Wait for me to change my clothes. Eldest brother didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Dao Ming was too embarrassed to let eldest brother go and waited with Yi Sheng. Not long after, eldest brother washed up and changed into a purple robe. His hair was tied up with a long rope. He looked very elegant and had a unique temperament. Let's go. Let's get together. Eldest brother closed the door. The three of them had just walked out of the alley when they bumped into a dozen or so people. They were very aggressive. When they saw Yi Sheng, one of them shouted, Brother Nan, it was this kid who killed the stray dog. Brother Nan was a ruthless character. There was a scar on his face. He looked extremely ferocious and his true energy was surging. He was at least at the seventh sky of Ho Tian realm. He stared at Yi Sheng and said, Kid, did you kill my stray dog? Eldest brother frowned and said in a deep voice, Brother Nan, this is my junior brother. What do you want? Brother Nan glanced at eldest brother and waved his hand. Sword forger, your skill in forging swords is not bad. I don't want to kill you. Your junior brother killed the dog, so naturally, a life for a life. This is the rule of Chang and Street. Yi Xing said calmly, isn't Chang and Street where a big fist is a rule? Since when did this dog have a life for a life? Brother Nan's face was fierce, he grinned hideously and said, since you know the big fist is the rule, then obediently accept your death. You are stronger than the dog, so you can naturally kill him. Then I am stronger than you, so I can also kill you. This is the rule of Chang and Street. Yi Sheng was just about to go out and test his combat strength when eldest brother pulled him back and smiled. He said, in senior brother's territory, no one can hurt you. I only called you brother Nan because I gave you face. If I don't give you face, who do you think you are? How dare you behave atrociously in front of me? Eldest senior brother strode out with a disdainful expression. Sword forger, don't think that you have nothing to fear just because you know how to forge a sword. Brother Nan's expression darkened. I'm a sword forger, but I'm also a sword master. In the past, in order to temper myself, I always stayed in the sword furnace and didn't come out. But do you trash really think that I'm easy to bully? Eldest senior brother sneered and took the horse stance, then, 
he suddenly waved his right hand as if it was a long sword and slashed out. Kunqiang. A sword ray in the air turned into a hundred zhang in size and swept across everything. Puchi. Cutting melons and cutting vegetables, everyone was cut in half, even Brother Nan who was at the seventh firmament. This is, sword intent. Brother Nan's remaining consciousness stared at the eldest senior, and his eyes were filled with shock and disbelief. You are, you actually, this is impossible. The upper half of Brother Nan's body fell to the ground. His face was filled with shock. Eldest brother placed his hands behind his back and said indifferently, I'm just a sword master with low talent. Dot behind him, Yi Sheng and Dao Ming widened their eyes. This was too terrifying. Using his hands as a sword, he slashed out dense sword Qi and instantly killed over ten people, including a seventh heaven post liminary realm expert. Seventh sky of the postnatal realm. Even the current Yi Sheng didn't dare to say that he was completely defeated. He could only be defeated by augmenting his strength. Under eldest senior brother's hands, he couldn't even block a single move. The ground was covered with corpses, and fresh blood flowed everywhere. It was extremely bright. The people who were hiding in the dark to observe all sucked in a breath of cold air. They couldn't believe it. Eldest senior brother didn't change much. As usual, he said, let's go. Someone else will deal with these clowns. Let's go drink. Dao Ming cheered, let's drink. Yi Xing carried Dao Ming and stepped over the body. He followed eldest brother to the restaurant. After they left, more than a dozen people came out and moved the body away. The blood was washed into the sewer. Soon, the area was restored to its original state. Chang and Street. This scene had been repeated countless times. In the past, it was Brother Nan who killed people. But today, it was Brother Nan who was killed. The most prosperous restaurant on Chang and Street had nine floors of attic. The consumption here was very high, the dishes were delicious, and the wine was unique. The daily income was a huge source of income. Eldest brother opened a private room on the third floor, and the third person started chatting, Eldest brother, what's your name? Yi Xing asked curiously. That's right, eldest senior brother. I still don't know your name. Dao Ming also asked. Duan Mu Yu, you can call me eldest senior brother Mu Yu. Eldest senior brother Duan Mu Yu said. Mu Yu, it's very appropriate. You failed to pass the Ji Xia Academy three years ago. You really are a Mu Yu. Dao Ming smiled. Eldest senior brother also smiled and said, Eldest senior brother's talent is low. Even master said that my talent is slightly inferior to that of ordinary people. Naturally, I can't compare to the two junior brothers. Eldest senior brother, then your sword just now. Yi Xing couldn't help but ask. He saw that sword and memorized it in his mind. He kept simulating it, but he couldn't duplicate it. It was obviously a very simple slash. In Yi Xing's hand, it was just a slash, but in eldest senior brother's hand, it was an extremely powerful sword move. That is sword intent, eldest senior brother said to Yi Sheng. What sword intent? Yi Sheng and Dao Ming looked confused. Sword intent is the profound meaning given by the person who uses the sword. For example, my sword intent is unyielding. Every day, I temper and forge the sword. Not only am I forging the sword, but I'm also tempering myself. Three years go by as one day, and only recently did I form sword intent. This is the first time I've made a move, so its power isn't bad, right? Eldest senior brother Duan Mu Yu said. Chapter 49 Duan Mu Yu's Sword You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 49 Chapter 23 Duan Mu Yu's Sword Senior Brother's Sword Intent Killed a Hotian Seventh Heaven Cultivator Without a Doubt. I guess you've already broken through to the Xientian realm, right? Yi Xing asked. Duan Mu Yu shook his head and said, Junior Brother, the Xientian realm is just a feeling. 
I don't know if I've broken through or not. Dao Ming raised his wine cup, he said, how can I not know? Master said that the most important change after breaking through to the Xientian realm is the speed of absorbing and exhaling spiritual qi. A Ho Tian cultivator is like a small stream, receiving water from the sea. The innate realm is a wide river that can absorb and exhale spiritual qi within a hundred meters in an instant. Duan Muyu thought for a moment and said, according to this, I have broken through. Congratulations, senior brother, Yi Xing said in surprise. How could Duan Muyu, who had broken through to the innate realm, not be accepted by Jixia Academy? Duan Muyu shook his head, he said, junior brother, this is just a standard. The innate realm is different from the postnatal realm, and people are also different. Although I can absorb and exhale spiritual qi within a hundred meters, I still don't feel like I have pushed open the door to the innate realm. There's such a saying. Yi Xing asked hesitantly. He really didn't know. Duan Mu Yu smiled and said, The innate realm is not just a change in spiritual qi. There are also changes in the body, dantian, comprehension, and so on. Only when they are combined together can they be considered to have broken through to the innate realm. Master said that I have great perseverance, but my comprehension is not enough. Although I can absorb and exhale the surrounding spiritual qi, my comprehension is not enough to support me to break through to the innate realm. Yi Xing nodded his head as if he understood something. He was only at Ho Tian Fourth Sky, so he did not understand Xian Tian at all. All right. Today is a good day. Why are we talking about this? Let's drink. Duan Mu Yu raised his wine cup and said. Yi Sheng and Dao Ming also began to drink heartily. After three rounds of drinking, Yi Sheng and Dao Ming were ready to bid farewell to Duan Mu Yu and return to Jixia Academy. The three of them left the restaurant and walked on the street. At dusk, this banquet lasted for an entire afternoon. Dao Ming passed out on Yi Xing's shoulder. Eldest senior brother Duan Mu Yu's face was red, and his movements were a little slow. As for Yi Xing, he was just a little dizzy, the rest was fine. Junior brother, rest in the city tonight. There are plenty of inns here, eldest brother Duan Mu Yu said. Yi Xing shook his head and said, Senior brother, I have a class tomorrow and second brother. I want to bring him back. Master wants to teach him how to practice Taoism. Duan Mu Yu did not stop him and said, Then I will send you out of Chang and Street. Okay. Yi Xing carried Dao Ming on his back and followed his eldest brother. He breathed in the smell of alcohol and fresh air. But all of a sudden, Yi Xing breathed in a murderous aura. Buzz. Although the sound of the arrow was faint, Yi Xing still heard it. He focused his eyes and turned around. On a roof, a man in black was holding a bow and arrow, maintaining the shooting posture. The arrow had already left the bowstring and was shooting towards Yi Xing's glabella. It was fast like lightning. Yi Xing could not dodge it. This was not something an ordinary person could shoot. Junior brother, be careful. Duan Mu Yu shouted coldly. He extended his hand and a long sword appeared. He turned his body and slashed fiercely. Kacha. The arrow was cut into two by Duan Mu Yu's long sword. It fell to the ground with a crisp sound. Who dares to hurt my junior brother? Duan Mu Yu held his sword and shouted loudly. His face was cold as he looked around, showing no signs of drunkenness. Yi Sheng was frightened and the drunkenness instantly disappeared. He frowned. If it weren't for his eldest senior brother, he would have been seriously injured even if he didn't die. Who wants to kill me? Yi Xing's heart turned cold as he instantly thought of Hu Mei, Yi Han, and Yi Qing. However, they didn't seem to know that he had come out. The black dot clothed man on the eaves disappeared, and the entire long street was empty. The doors were closed, and the pedestrians had retreated. Dot dong dong dong. Heavy footsteps echoed along with a low voice, echoing in the street. Sword forger, you killed my subordinate. Naturally, I can kill your junior brother. 
Eldest senior brother Duan Mu Yu laughed loudly and said in a deep voice, I was wondering who it was. So it was the third dot in dot charge of the Great Sword sect. Brother Nan was indeed your subordinate. I killed him this morning, and now you plan to avenge him. Ah Nan was killed by you. You can only blame him for being careless. I won't avenge him. I killed your junior brother because a noble wanted me to kill him. You just killed him along the way. The gloomy voice said disdainfully. A noble wanted to kill me. Yi Sheng was stunned, and his face immediately turned green. It seems that you are clear in your heart. Just obediently accept your death. This street is already filled with our people. A sword forger, a trash from a large family, and a child. What kind of ability does he have to overturn the heavens? The third dot in dot charge sneered, walking out from the shadows, he held a broadsword in his hand. It was like a door panel, and his aura was vigorous. Eldest senior brother Duan Mayu asked, where's the first and second dot in dot charge of greatsword sect? They have other things to deal with. I alone am enough to kill all of you, third dot in. Charge said calmly. He placed the broadsword on the ground. With a thud, a large crater was created on the ground. One could see the weight of the impact. Duan Muyu smiled and pointed at third dot in dot charge. He shook his head and said, you, can't. It's not up to you to decide whether I can do it or not. Do you think that killing Ah Nan is considered an expert? Third dot in dot charge looked at Duan Muyu with disdain. I've never thought that. Ah Nan is nothing. He's just a dog that you raised. I killed him casually. Today, I was in a good mood and drank some wine to welcome my junior brother. You just had to spoil my mood. Don't blame me then. Duan Mu Yu raised his long sword, with a glance, he narrowed his eyes and his aura changed drastically. Rumble. The air began to boil and swept around, causing Yi Sheng to take a few steps back. Junior brother, go to the side. With senior brother here today, no one can hurt you, Duan Mu Yu said calmly. Yi Sheng carried Dao Ming on his back and walked to the side to watch the battle. The third dot in dot charge of Greatsword sect was definitely very strong, far surpassing that Ah Nan, but he was definitely not a Khanate expert. Eldest senior brother was also very strong, but Yi Sheng did not know just how strong he was. Until the next second, Yi Sheng witnessed it. Duan Mu Yu's sword split apart the clouds and mist, and the color of dusk fell on his body at this moment, adding a layer of golden armor armor. This sword of his was very easy to guess, there were not too many moves. One stab, one stab. The face of the third dot in dot charge of greatsword sec darkened. He raised his broadsword and swung it fiercely, as if he was turning a large iron block, and directly smashed it. Dong! The earth trembled. The broadsword of the third dot in dot charge collided with the eldest senior brother's sword. A huge force spread from the two of them to the ground, causing bricks to fly in the air and the ground to be filled with potholes. The third. In dot charge's face turned cold as he shouted, Your sword is only so dot so. If it can't break my broadsword, then obediently accept your death. He wanted to use his strength to shake Duan Mu Yu and send him flying, but in the next second, Duan Mu Yu's body moved. He withdrew his long sword and thrust it out again. Kacha. A crisp sound shattered third dot in dot charges calm. He watched in horror as his broadsword shattered in an instant. The long sword accurately stabbed into third dot in dot charges throat. This, this is impossible, how could my sword, be shattered? Third dot in dot charges body trembled in disbelief. He was an expert at the peak of the Ho Tian Ninth Heaven. Chapter 50 Sword Control You Are Listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Chapter 50 Chapter 24 Sword Control Duan Muyu killed the third dot in dot charge of the Greatsword sect with a single strike, shocking the people of the surrounding Greatsword sect. They hid in the shadows, not knowing what to do. Should they come out to continue killing Yi Sheng and Duan Muyu, or should they endure it, 
should they wait for the first dot in dot charge and the second dot in dot charge to return. On the quiet street, Yi Sheng looked at his eldest senior brother and said in surprise, Eldest senior brother, you can easily kill someone at the ninth heaven of the postnatal realm. He is too weak. He only knows how to attack with brute force and doesn't know how to be flexible. But how did you offend them? Why did they come to kill you? Tuan Mu Yu asked. Yi Sheng's face turned ugly and said, They must be my family members. Tuan Mu Yu looked at Yi Sheng and didn't ask any more questions. Instead, he said, Bring Dao Ming with you. I will send you away. Yi Sheng carried Dao Ming on his back and followed eldest brother out of Chang and Street. No one dared to stop him. After leaving Chang and Street, Tuan Mu Yu didn't send Yi Sheng off. He stopped to think and said, Junior brother, are you interested in killing someone with me? Yi Sheng looked at Tuan Mu Yu with a puzzled expression. Who should he kill? The Great Sword sect came to assassinate you for no reason. Don't you want revenge? Tuan Mu Yu asked with a smile. I do. Yi Sheng nodded cleanly. How about we join hands and wipe out the entire Great Sword sect? Tuan Mu Yu said. Just the two of us, can we do it? Yi Sheng asked doubtfully. The strength of the Great Sword sect was not weak. Junior brother, believe in yourself. If you really can't do it, there's still senior brother here, Duan Mu Yu said with a smile. Okay. Since senior brother isn't afraid, junior brother isn't afraid either, Yi Sheng said with a determined look in his eyes. That's right. I've been condensing the sword intent recently, and I've always felt that I was lacking something. Only now do I know that I'm lacking blood chi. I need to kill people in order to advance further. The huge sword sect just happened to deliver themselves to my doorstep. Then, I'll consider them unlucky. Tuan Mu Yu said coldly. When do we start? Yi Xing asked. Three nights later, come to Chang and Street to look for me. Tuan Mu Yu turned around and entered Chang and Street, waving his hand. Yi Xing looked at his senior brother's back, carried Dao Ming on his back, and left quickly. He went straight to the city gate and hurried to Jixia Academy. When Yi Xing returned to Jixia Academy, most of Dao Ming's drunkenness had dissipated. He put Dao Ming in the monastery and returned to the hut. He thought that there was no one in the hut and that Beauty Zhou had disappeared for many days. But tonight, Beauty Zhou was drinking under the moon. Long time no see, Yi Xing greeted her. Beauty Zhou nodded and raised her wine glass. Long time no see. How's the matter with your sister? Yi Xing hesitated and asked. Beauty Zhou smiled gently and said, Don't worry. I've already taken care of all the funeral matters. No one will know that you did it. That's good. Yi Sheng was relieved. Come, drink with me. You've solved a big problem. It's like removing a mountain that you've been carrying for a long time. It's very easy. Beauty Zhou wanted to smile happily. It's not bitter wine, right? Yi Sheng shook his head and said. I used to be in a bad mood when I drank bitter wine, but now that I'm in a good mood, I don't like drinking bitter wine anymore, Beauty Zhou said. I drank quite a lot today. I'll drink three more cups with you. Yi Xing thought for a moment and sat opposite Beauty Zhou. The first cup, thank you. Beauty Zhou raised her wine cup and said seriously. Yi Xing raised his eyebrows. Why did she thank him? Although he didn't understand, Yi Xing still drank with Beauty Zhou. The second cup, I still have to thank you. Beauty Zhou smiled this time, like a blooming peony. She was actually somewhat similar to his sister, as charming as the moon in the clouds. Yi Sheng was stunned for a moment. Hey, drink up. Beauty Zhou's expression turned stiff as she said in embarrassment and anger. Yi Sheng immediately downed the cup. For the third cup, I'll continue to thank you for making me so happy. Beauty Zhou continued to pour the third cup of wine. Yi Sheng stretched out his hand and pressed down, saying, 
the three cups of wine are all to thank me, but I clearly remember that I helped you in order to repay you for saving my life. Beauty Zhou slapped Yi Sheng's hand away with her pure white palm. She raised her snow dot white neck and said, No matter what your reason is, I want to thank you for helping me get out of the sea of bitterness. By killing your sister, you can get out of the sea of bitterness. Yi Sheng could not figure out what kind of logic this was. Yes, by killing her, I will be free. Beauty Zhou nodded fiercely. All right then, I'll drink the third glass of wine. Yi Sheng drank it in one gulp. After three glasses of wine, Beauty Zhou jumped up before Yi Sheng could even get up. She hopped back into the room and said, This time, you clean up the trash, but I won't. Ha ha ha, you're not as fast as me. Yi Sheng looked at Beauty Zhou, who was like a wild horse that had run out of control. He was very happy and let go of himself. He could not help but think why did he feel that Beauty Zhou seemed to be even more feminine. There was no such behavior from his little daughter in the past. He lowered his head and looked at the table full of trash. Yi Sheng's face darkened. He did not like to clean up either. Beauty Zhou, come out and clean up. You can eat your own food, Yi Sheng shouted. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Beauty Zhou's proud voice sounded. Yi Sheng said angrily, Do you believe that I will immediately rush in and catch you? You are not allowed to cross the 38th line. If you dare to cross the 38th line, I will ignore you. Beauty Zhou shrieked and opened the door. She widened her eyes and glared at Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng looked at him and suddenly rushed forward. Ah! Beauty Zhou shrieked and closed the door with a bang. She roared angrily, Yi Sheng, you are untrustworthy. You actually dare to cross the 38th line. You, you make me so angry. There was no movement from the outside world. Beauty Zhou's expression changed. She carefully observed the outside world. It was empty. Yi Sheng had disappeared and the trash on the table had been cleaned up. HMTH, you still want to clean up. You'll be the one to clean up from now on, Beauty Zhou snorted. She turned around and lay on the bed. She closed her eyes with a gentle expression. It had been a long time since she had felt so relaxed. At this moment, Yi Sheng was practicing his fists in the big river. He had not practiced his fists for the entire day. His cultivation was like sailing against the current. If he did not advance, he would retreat. Therefore, he used the water as a resistance and started practicing his fists. At the same time, he washed off the smell of alcohol all over his body. The next day, Yi Sheng woke up early. He took in the rosy clouds to increase the strength of his soul. At the same time, he was also learning other Daoist techniques. Yi Sheng currently had control over the ten Daoist techniques. He used them skillfully. It was time for him to master the second one. Sword Control This was the second Daoist technique that Yi Sheng had mastered. During this period of time, there were more than ten cultivators on earth who had mastered it, allowing Yi Sheng to learn it automatically. Sword Control, using one's soul to control the sword, killing people from a hundred meters away, killing people from a hundred miles away, and even taking the head of an enemy from a thousand miles away. This was a very powerful Daoist technique. Yi Sheng used the power of his soul to control a small branch, constantly moving around, changing and rolling around his body. Finally, he ruthlessly stabbed it into a stone. Bang! The stone exploded. Under the power of Yi Sheng's divine soul, it was completely defenseless. As expected, ten Daoist techniques are all rare Daoist techniques. A smile appeared on Yi Sheng's face. He was extremely satisfied.